Let's talk a little bit about formatting the reference list. Um, in the example that I'm showing you here, you'll see I've placed a comment that says you need to format each reference entry as a paragraph with hanging indent rather than typing one line and pressing enter. The formatting is not stable when you press enter after each typed line. Only press enter after you've typed the complete entry. So let's get rid of that comment now and um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's make this just a little bit larger. Let's view page width. Now how do I know that this is formatted as line by line typing instead of a paragraph being word processed? If I hold the control button and push down arrow one push push it once it takes me down to the next paragraph so you can see my cursor's moved down i'm going to push the i'm still holding control i'm going to push the up arrow now it's going to take me to the next paragraph going up so fitzpatrick is the beginning of a paragraph but this space here is the beginning of the next paragraph so what has happened is this person has typed and they typed the first two lines but then when they got to the end of this second line, fourth, they pushed enter. Then they pushed tab. And they've ended up with this space down there. So you can see the spacing is funny. And if I find out for some reason that I need to go back in and I need to type additional words, and I'm just going to put a bunch of garbage letters, look what happens to the formatting here. See, you can still see there's that that enter that's been pushed after fourth that just keeps messing up the formatting so you are going to spend hours and hours and hours trying to get your reference lists to look right if you type them so you cannot type like you're on the typewriter if you remember the typewriter days we would type to the end of one line and then push return or enter or use the little bar if it was a manual typewriter. With word processors we do not do that. The only time you hit enter at the end of each line is when you're making a list like with bullets. So in your reference list you need to type, type, type and then format the paragraph properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the second line right after the number fourth there and I'm going to delete the enter and now I'm going to delete the tab now you can see this looks just like a regular paragraph we do have a problem here is that there's no period at the end of this as well okay so now we have the paragraph to make it format correctly for a reference list we need the first line to look normal like this all the way flush left but we need the next two lines to be indented we do not do that manually rather we format this whole paragraph with what's called a hanging indent h-a-n-g-i-n-g -I -I hanging indent to do that we go up to the home menu and then we come to the paragraph formatting area here and so I'm going to click on this little um, corner box that shows the that will open the paragraph dialog box and then right here first you've got general formatting the paragraph the next section the second section is indentation formatting and we want to go over to special and we can have it first line or hanging. Hanging is what we want for the reference lists. And we want them in the, we want them to hang by one half inch, 0.5. Okay? 0.5 inches. And look, it's automatically indenting those. Now, if I go in and I realize I've left something out and I need to type something in, and again, I'm just doing this as an example, you can see things get moved down to the next line but the formatting of my lines stays the same I always have 
the half inch indent after the first line because I formatted the entire paragraph as hanging indent. Okay, let's get rid of that. Now let's look at the second entry here, the WK Kellogg Foundation entry. I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning and now remember you can move from paragraph to paragraph in a Word document by holding the control button down with one finger and then pushing the down arrow or up arrow and you just push it one at a time to move one paragraph at a time so you can see here's another paragraph I've gone down one line and then it jumps to the end of that so in this case um, the student typed the first line pressed enter got to the second line and then typed the rest of this as a paragraph so what we have to do is delete that enter that was at the end of the first line. Now we delete the tab where they manually spaced it. Now what's up with this? We've got more tabs that the that the student typed in. So we've got to delete all of these tabs. Now let's format this paragraph as hanging indent. So I go back up on the home tab. I go into the paragraph formatting area. I click on this little corner box to open the paragraph dialog box and under the special indentation commands I choose hanging. I make sure that it says by half an inch then I say OK. Now you'll notice there's still a problem here because when the person typed they put a tab right here in front of the word foundation. So let's delete that and now it looks like we've got that correct. Um, just correct one little error here. This says access to December 5th, 2011 at. That's APA 5th style. APA 6th is retrieved from. And you don't give the date. And that should help you with formatting your reference lists.